Hi everyone, I hope you're good, Sky. Today we're gonna talk about Ghost Note. So, usually Ghost Note is like mainly using in drum, and it's basically like a note, but we which we play kind of at low velocity, at low volume. So it's kind of being there without being there and kind of giving another dimension to your groove. So it basically can be a great alternative if you have like a basic read like this one and you want to add variation but without changing too much the original rhythm adding ghost notes so for example i'm gonna add not like this which very low velocity like adding here and there will add a different groove to your original groove so let me show you an example here so that's normal and then with ghost notes So it's a bit more complex, a little bit more groovy as well. There is no, the point is not to make it better or, or worse. It's just like a different variation of of the original one. Obviously here it's a bit like a, a bit exaggerated for the example, but you get the idea. It's like, you see like the very light uh, note right here are like with almost full velocity and the dark one is like very slow velocity. And for example, if you check, I don't know, for example, the snare, that's the normal snare pattern. So here actually even the snare, this one could be even a bit lower in terms of volume. But if for example I put the kick and the clap, let's see. This rhythm and then if you add ghost note. So yeah, you can get a nice variation of the original groove. Let me show you another example. Oh, I'm just gonna remove the solo. And then with So that can be great to add variation. For example, after eight bar up, you can switch to that and it's even accentuating the groove. That can be nice. And let me show you another example. See, you have this basic pattern and you can transform something a bit more complex. So let me show you, for example, how I pass from this to that. Usually what I would like to do, I will keep always the main here. For example, let's talk with the clothes I had and I will put like some, this ghost note here and there and like see it like every bit separate. And for example, on this one, I will put a different combination. You see like here it was like two ghost note, one full. Here like just one ghost note, one full. And maybe for this one, something like this. And maybe for this one, Mm, what I haven't done, this two like, like this. And then just, you got. You get something and the same after with the clap, maybe putting a clap just one before. And after like putting like, well not here because it's already busy around there, but maybe putting three like this. And then same as well after, I don't know, just trying things, see what is working, what is not working. And trying to don't put all on, on the same time at the same place of your, of your bar. So that works for trends, but it can work as well, obviously for scent. So for example, I have this melody here. And so you see, you've got kind of goes not here and if I remove them obviously this one make it a bit more interesting so and to show you like if I was playing them at full velocity you get something like this so it's not bad but you see it's like very rigid you know like uh, it's not very groovy and here you got this kind of weird feeling 
And obviously, one thing interesting to, to do that I haven't done here, but it's always you can either use the pull groove or you can do it manually as well. Like always like kind of slightly swing some knots here and there, you know, like just to make sound a little bit. Maybe like kind of giving a different groove. So yeah, that can be a, bit, a good idea when you have something and you want to kind of add variation to it, but you don't really know how to pl placing this knot here and there this with ve low, very low velocity can be a solution. And I wanted to show you a, a last example with the perk. So for example, you know, I like this kind of very, very, so here, if you listen, there is a delay, and if you listen the delay, it's kind of hitting here. So it can be interesting to put like not just over there, goes note, and it's kind of accentuating this impression. And you can even after take this note and maybe put them like this. Maybe just try things, see what's working. All right, so that's it for today. Just a little quick tip I wanted to show you. I hope you like it, guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and see you Wednesday, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.